All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is VMP here. Welcome back to a little more in the adventures of Svenolf the Mountain. Today, Svenolf finds himself overlooking a, a quaint little Batanian village. Uh, a village that needs a little liberating of their valuables. Uh, specifically being hardwood. I think that's what this village uh, produces. But yeah, we're going to be starting this one off with a raid. Uh, the reason for that being is, I think... The war with Batania is going to be over pretty soon here. They just sent us uh, a courier with a peace offer. I don't want to open it up yet because then I think it makes the decision right away. But I would hope that they're going to be offering us tribute considering we've been absolutely beating the brakes off of them this entire engagement. Um, we're up... I think actually we're only up one castle in one town because they retook Remtol. Um, but... That's been great for us, because we got made a lord last episode, and they gave us a Drewmore Castle. Um, I also don't really mind if... Oh, hello. Jesus. 83. I d definitely <laughs> forgot to look at the fact that there are villagers inside. Alright, I mean, they're just Batanians. <laughs> if we've noticed anything in this war so far, is Batanians cannot hold up to Sturgeons at all. Uh, especially their little volunteers. But yeah, I, I don't really mind us having peace. It's been a very fun action-packed last couple of episodes. But we need some time to kind of consolidate and uh, get our affairs in order. Um, oh, let's go ahead and put Mimir at the head of our cavalry. Remember, this is the guy we picked up last episode. This is Ragavan's cousin or some shit like that. Um, he's a fanboy of Svenolf. He, he really likes, you know... Giant, hulking, semi-naked cavemen. You know, to each their own. To each their own. And, uh, so we've got him for the next 200 days. Essentially, all we have to do is we need to give him... We need to upgrade his skills 30 times. And from what you guys told me, it doesn't have to be the same skill. It's just... Cu cumulatively, we just need to upgrade all of his skills a total of 30 times. That's not bad at all. Especially not in, uh... What, two years? I'm trying to think. Because I'm pretty sure in Bannerlord... There's only 120 days in a year. So we have almost two years. Yeah, we're going to get this done pretty soon. Um, and part of that includes uh, what we're raiding this village for, the hardwood. Forward! I want to start the smithing grind, and part of that is going to be using him to refine all the uh, the wood into charcoal. It's going to be fantastic. All right, these guys getting close yet? Not quite. That's right, we do actually have a singular Forward! archer. We'll put him right here. Everybody else will- actually, I'll tell you what, I should not be just a sitting duck. Huh! <gasps> as far as you can, spin off. Oh, just short. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it, that's it, that's it! Yes, sir! Need to get some skill points and throwing whenever I can. With bow, it's too easy, almost. Alright, everybody, go and charge in. Let our boys go ahead of us for a second. Woo! <laughs> And now we're going to bring out Avalanche, our new legendary axe we got last episode. Jesus. Svenolf. These men, well, they had families. Their families are currently watching them get demolished. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I'm too long, too big, too strong. Oh, we're cleaving through multiple Batanis in a single blow. This is, this axe is just, it's so much more efficient. Why only kill one person per swing when you can kill two? I thought that one was going to be a double kill there, if I'm being honest. Oop. The nice thing, man, the, actually, on field battles, this axe is so long, I can stay out of their range and just keep swinging. Oh, it's so sick. And the name, I didn't even realize until I was reading your comments, the name fits so well. Avalanche... You know, a.k.a. what happens on mountains, our, <laughs> our nickname. And uh, also, Avalanche, we got... Our backstory is getting stuck in ice and being frozen for a thousand years. A.k.a. what would happen in Avalanche. You know, I think lore-wise, this is a one-of-a-kind axe that was made, like, commissioned especially for Svenoff. Ooh, we're getting some long-range shots in today. Come on. Come on. Ah, alright. You get away this time. And we did not lose anybody. 13 influences, not bad at all. Whoo, look at that. 
18 kills. Mimir, you didn't get a single point in all of that. Buddy, what? Were you fighting? What are you doing? Come on. Oh, well. Oh, well. We have... I've got a plan as to how we're going to upgrade him. Don't worry about that. Uh, we just got a bunch of roguery and leadership. Awesome. Uh, holy shit. Every single one of our Variag veterans just leveled up into Drazenix. Jesus Christ. That is insane. I need to... I probably need to buy some new horses would be my guess. I also need some new infantry. Although... Although, what we can always do is just dismount these guys in the beginning of combat. There's no reason why we couldn't. They, they would just serve as extra beefy infantry. I need to remember to do that in uh, future battles. Go ahead and take the prisoners here. Thank you very much. We will take all of that. And then your hardwood, please. What do you mean by that? There we go, and actually no wood here. That's disappointing. Well, that's fine. Although I don't like the fact we only have 13% HP. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't love that, but eh, we're gonna raid anyways. Get in there. I mean, we have Builder's Army chilling by us. All right. Yep, we are getting hardwood for this. Okay. Okay, what's that? Make peace with Batania. Our kingdom will receive 1240 tribute daily, but that gets split amongst all the different clans, so not that much is actually going to go to us. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Ah! <laughs> fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I, I, <laughs> I thought I hit space in time. I guess not. All right, get out of here. Go, scram. We got to run. Although, if we're being honest, we could probably absolutely blow these dudes out the water. Yeah, 27 volunteers, 27 clan... If it was just one of them, dude, even with even the two of them, we could fuck them up if we really wanted to here, I think. Wait, what the fuck? Did they just give us a second castle? Pendrea Castle is also large? <laughs> I didn't ask for this. What the, f <laughs> what the fuck? I don't even know if I want this. Two. Bro, we didn't do that much work. I didn't think we did. I mean, thank you, but like, it's kind of unnecessary. All right, these guys are on our dicks. Come on, hop out. Hop off, get out of here. Okay. Um, yeah. Bro, castles don't even make that much money, I think. I could be wrong. Actually, um, the villages attached to them do make a decent amount of money. And that actually kind of offsets the garrison okay fuck it yeah i'll take a second castle i mean <laughs> why not you know oh uh, they're making it too easy okay so we made out with 15 hardwood um nah, that's not bad that's not bad I mean, we didn't lose anybody so plus we get all this loot that we can now sell off yeah yep yeah. and then i feel like this shit is not even worth smelting down I mean, look how trash it is. It's just, it's not good. Okay, but now, check this out. We go to the smithy. We have 15 hardwood. Mimir only has one smithing skill. This is perfect. We just do this. Bang it out. Just like that. That's six skill points. We're 20% we're, <laughs> we're of the way done with his quest. Oh my god, that's so easy. Um, Can we actually... Tell you what, let me just have him make some... Well, is there any hardwood in here that I can buy? Oh, there is. Perfect. Alright, boom. That's more for him. And then, tell you what, any... How expensive is, like, iron ore and stuff? There's none here? Jesus. No iron ore at all. These hillbillies just fight with wooden weaponry, huh? Okay. Well, we can go back here. We can have Mimir do some more. I like how Ragavan gave him to us. And he was like, please, teach him everything you know. And literally all we're going to be teaching him is how to turn wood into charcoal. He's our bitch boy. <laughs> there we go. Ten. So we're almost a third of the way done with his quest. Bro, it's... 
Uh, you know what? It's not what he intended, but it is what it is. All right, these guys are still waiting for us out here. If I was at full HP, I'd consider going for him. Is there a, there's no uh, tournament going on? All right, we'll just chill for a bit. We'll just chill for a bit and heal up. These fuckers are just waiting outside here. The audacity. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna fight them. Um, the army's trash. Like, is they don't have good troops. Even though they outnumber us massively. They're a little bit separated right now. I think we just take them. I think we beat them. Um, let's go ahead and ransom off our prisoners real quick. Ooh, hello. A little level up. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, throwing. What do we got here? Oh, no, I remember this from uh, when I was leveling up my brother. Yeah, this one's good. Flexible fighter. So the first perk, melee, melee usage of thrown weapons deals 10% more damage. We will literally never use that. It's the captain perk here. Infantry gain plus 15 to all their control skills, so they get more throwing. And our ranged troops get plus 15 to their vigor skills, aka their melee skills. That's good. It happens sometimes. Your archers end up getting into melee combat, and it's really nice if they can handle themselves there. Um, versus this perk is just we deal more damage to horses with throwing weapons. Like I, I don't know when that's ever going to come up. So definitely flexible fighter. Uh, focus point. What are, what are we going to be doing here in the peacetime? Smithing is fine. Roguery. It's going to be peacetime, so we're not going to be raiding all that much. Tactics. At some point, we should put a little bit in this, but... Um, mm, scouting's decent. Leadership, decent. Oh, charm. Of course, charm. We, we, we want to get spent off a lady friend at some point. A wife. Um... And uh, it would help if he had the at least the most basic ability to speak to a female. Because uh, he doesn't have that currently. Uh, what is this? Not sure why I was saying party notification there. But, alright. Let's see how this goes. Come on. What? Oh! Oh, look at this, huh? Yeah! Oh, you were acting real tough? When you're chasing me out of that village, but now all of a sudden I turn around and I'm actually going to fight you. And everyone wants to dip. Okay. Yeah, I see how it is. Oh, it's a lady. Uh, that's not going to stop me. Svenolf, you know, I was just talking about how he needs to be able to talk to the ladies. Um, this is not a good example. You generally don't want to tell them to surrender or die. I find that they don't like that a lot of the times. Um, just a pro tip for you guys out there. Uh, that's an unpleasant set of options. How about we just not fight today? No, we, we are at war. What do you think this is? You are, you are not that cute. Svenolf has his eyes on... <laughs> How are you going to just flex at me? <laughs> she said, okay, square up then, bro. Um, <laughs> Svenolf has his eyes on the, uh, the daughter of that, that MILF we saw last episode, uh, Siga. The, uh, the 42-year-old. Um... <laughs> uh yeah go ahead let's go ahead and charge but yeah it's a damn shame because uh she's got some crazy stats 200 and everything it's just she's not able I, 42 is too old to have kids in calradia they uh very unfortunately have not discovered the technology on how to how to freeze eggs i would presume uh, <laughs> I, I don't i don't think that's been uh discovered yet okay um tell you what would actually be a good idea. Sand down of the horses. Let's try out having everybody. So I know some of you guys were complaining that we have too many, too many cavalry units now, which we kind of do. We have, for us being the Sturgeons, we just have too many elite cavalry. Like those are the best units in the Sturgeon troop line, and we've got a lot of them. It's a good problem to have. Um, Side by side. Can we do shield? Make a line. Shield wall. Shield wall. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Because I assume they're gonna have some archers here. Not that many. All right, good stuff. With me. Follow me. Keep it moving here. 
Oh my god, they're so far away. All right. Okay, we're getting pretty close now. After me. Let's have them continue to advance here. I've just been peppering some of their archers. I got... I think I got most of them. There's not too many of their archers left. Yeah, I got like three now. Good, another one. Last arrow here for us. Alright, good. What's the... What's the command to, uh... Uh... Advance, advance, advance. Or engage? Ah, are you kidding me? I just got hit by something in slow motion. Oh, I'm so weak now. I'm a one-tap. Damn it. Oh, man, but look at our line of Drusenix. Yo. Oh, they look beefy. This looks good. I do have some javelins. Whew. Oh, close, close, close. Come on. Too far, too far. Somewhere in the middle here. Okay. No, you're fine. Hey. We, no, no, no. Advance. I said advance. No, stop going after... Bro, what are y'all doing? Move? How do, how do I do the... Uh... No, that's not what I want. Escape. Escape. F1. I guess like this? That'll guarantee that they only go forward instead of going after the cavalry? I just want them to get close. Alright, fuck it. Just charge. Fuck it. I'm done. With, I'm done with this. Just get in there. Yeah. Yep, yep. Good old melee. Alright, we need to we need to stay on the outskirts of this. So we're literally a one-tap thanks to those random uh, throwing weapons that hit us. Good, 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 good. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Oh, hello, Calvary. Alright. I think they didn't go for us there. Woo! There was a double kill! <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, where you guys running? Oh, the party's just getting started. Oh my god, that's not accurate at all. Jesus. Oh, damn it. That was close. Are we done? Everybody just charge. Dude, how many did we lose? Hey, we didn't lose anybody. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, that actually works out pretty well, using the Drusenix, uh as just part of our infantry. I mean, if you think about it, they're basically just like the Variag veterans, except... Better armor, better weapons, and better stats. There's, there's better all the way around. All right, how far, how far do we have to go and, and chase these guys down? We're done. They're in full scale retreat. I don't, I don't know what else you want me to do here. Are you kidding me? What's, what's alive right now for them? Um, do we have to chase down one of their horsemen? Jesus. Okay, there we go. Someone got him. Beautiful. Good stuff, lads. And Mimir is still not getting any experience. He, honestly, he might just already have decent tactics and, like, uh, weapon skills. So, yeah. It, as much as giving him smithing XP seems like a little bit of a cop-out, it works, you know? Okay, four points in leadership. Not bad. All right. Okay, here's the thing. As you guys reminded me, one of the best ways to get charm in this game is to let lords go. We're going to go ahead and do that. And it's not because you're cute. Because you're not. I'm doing this because I want charm skill. Boom. Yeah. Ten skill points in charm. Fuck yeah. And we got a little bit of relation with our clan. Once again, don't not not so much really caring about that. But this is awesome. Uh, another Variag level up. Some more Drusenix. Yeah, our Drusenix are essentially just going to act like us. They're going to get off their horse for combat. Um, they just have their horses so we can get around the campaign map easier. Pertanian Fion Champion. All right, good, good for you. Nice, nice. Very nice, very nice. All right. Do I need more horses? How am I doing on horses? I feel like I'm running low on horses. We've been leveling up so many guys in Tutrazinics that we're starting to... All right, we need to pick up some more horses this episode. I uh, will remember that. What do we what do we get here? Not much, but I'm not exactly surprised by that. They were kind of trash. But if you remember, that's what we're doing for this series. We're only getting armor that we either loot from battle or win in tournaments. We're not buying armor from uh, from towns anymore. All right, cool, cool beans. Um. Motherfucker, there's another one of them. I'm at 34% HP. 
It's not off. Whoa, 121. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. We might get into one more big battle here before this is all said and done. Oh, hold up, hold up. Wait, let me let me do some quick maths real quick. Uh, 120 plus another like 120 plus another 70. Okay, uh, they actually have the same number of troops that we do. Hmm. Hmm. And we just had a lot of our dudes get knocked out. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you what, if you're gonna chase them away, then I can... I don't know, come on. Damn it, I really wanna... I wanna finish raiding this place, but I don't think we're gonna get the opportunity. Uh, did we level up? Oh, look at Athletics at 175! Like a prime Usain Bolt. Um, only 100 away from getting the final perk, which, uh, is disgusting. Each, hold up, wait a minute. Each skill point above 250 gives you an extra hit point? Oh, holy shit. I didn't even read that part. That's insane. I just like the first part that you stun your enemies after they block your attack. Oh my, if you get up to 300, then you have 50 more HP? You only start with 100. That's cracked. That's actually disgusting. Um... Ooh, increase your endurance attribute by one. Oh. Whoa. That could be pretty nice. We only get so many, you know, attribute points to throw into stuff. How does that... What, it didn't even... That didn't do anything. Look, it... Endurance 6. That is, is literally not doing anything. What the fuck? Aw. That would have been cool. Alright, what is this one? Party suffers 20% less speed penalty for being overburdened. I mean, that is somewhat useful. I'll tell you what. Um... I might run a test. I might, like, quick save and then see if maybe if when we lock that in permanently, it gives us the endurance. I'll try that out in a sec. What is what is this one? Charm? Okay, self-promoter. Um, plus one morale while in a besieged settlement. That should not happen too often. Plus five influence when winning a tournament. Uh, that would have been better before. I don't know. I don't think that's great. Virile or viral. Virile? Virile? I think it's virile. 30% more likely to have children. Mm. Yeah. It's Fenolf. Even if even if that's not actually going to do that much for us in, in gameplay, it's Fenolf. I think that just fits his personality. Uh, Alright, yeah. Give me one sec. Let me check out how that perk actually works. Okay. I checked it out. It does apply after you lock it in. But I had a secondary thought. So, normally, the limit on these skills, or on these attributes, is 10. What happens if we get endurance to 10 through leveling up, and then we get this perk? Can we hit 11? Because what that would do is allow our learning limit to be significantly higher, which, as we just found out, with the Mighty Blow perk, is going to give us more HP. I mean, each attribute point is another is another 10, I think. So, like, at minimum, we're talking another 10 HP. Probably a little bit more than that because you can go past your learning limit. Um, I think that's worth trying out. So we're gonna we're gonna shelve we're gonna shelve this one. We're gonna keep it in the bag for the time being. Uh, however, what are we what are we gonna do with this, huh? I could just raid this guy real fast. Fuck, who is this? Eridweer. Come over here. I got something I want to say to you. Oh, fuck. Is he going to escape? Oh, and there's the piece. Okay, I was wondering when that dis decision was going to go through. You live for now. Only for now, though. Um, I wonder, are all these lords about to come over here? They are. If there's a tournament, we might get something nice. But we have to wait for morning. Ah, no tournament, unfortunately. Alright, um... 
Ooh, horse wise. Imperial charges count as war mounts and they're only 300 a pop. It's pretty cheap. It's pretty cheap. We might go ahead and yoink those bad boys. 2k, not bad. Not a bad price to pay. Uh, go ahead and sell all of them off. We have a bunch of stuff to sell off, I think, right? Yeah, good amount of stuff. We'll go ahead and sell all that. Still no two-handed weapons here. It's very annoying. Very frustrating. Any hardwood? No. Cool. All right. Um, so, we are finally at peace for the first time in I don't even fucking know how long. Let me check how long this episode has been going on for. But I want to start the smithing grind. And the other thing I want to do is start figuring out our workshop. Because this workshop... Let me just double check. Still not making us jack shit. Still literally not making us anything. Oh my god. Where is it? Yeah. Nothing. Holy. Okay, I'm checking out our new castle. Um... This thing actually has a lot of stuff built already. Level 2 walls, level 3 barracks, level 3 granary, castellan's office, workshop, toll collector maxed out. Hello. Alright, very good. Only problem is, loyalty is pretty low. Loyalty is pretty rough. Um, so, I'm going to do what we're doing in the other castle right now. I'm just going to throw on festival and games. That will make sure that the loyalty will actually start increasing a decent amount. Um... We'll wait for everything to settle. Yeah, for us to get more militia, bigger garrison, all that good stuff. Should be okay. Uh, I could put... Hmm. I could put Liliza in here, but... Instead, what I'm having her do... So that's our brother's uh, wife. I'm actually having her travel and meet up with us. Then we're going to go drop her off in Drumore Castle. That way her and Nozan start pumping out babies. That's the goal. That's the goal at least. Um, we're actually getting 93 a day from the Batanians. That's only a third as much as we're getting from the Cusates. Um, but we're actually essentially net even. It's really not that bad. Really not that bad at all. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, let me... Go do some adventuring around. I want to start getting some two-handed weapons that I can smelt down and actually start learning how to smith. And then, like I said, we're going to work on some workshops. Let me go consult the Discord. And uh, Strat Gaming had a really good video recently talking about workshops. Um, I will be consulting those to try to finally figure out how to make some money. Okay, so it's been a little bit of a time skip. This is about a month later in game. Uh, also a day later in real life because I spent three or four hours last night, very late last night. I think I was up to like 6 a.m. trying to figure out the best way to unlock more parts for a two-handed weapons. Because, fun fact, uh, no Sturgeon Town, no Batanian or Vlandian Town sells two-handed swords. Yeah, found that out the, uh, the worst way possible. Um, <laughs> so the only way that I have figured out that we've been able to unlock what parts we have. So we started with only four parts unlocked. We're up to 22. I've actually made decent progress. But all you can do is craft two-handed swords with the shitty parts that we do have unlocked. And then immediately smelt them back down. It has been an awful grind. Um, the only good news to report... Smithing stamina comes back way faster than I remember. Like, it takes less than a day to get to full smithing stamina. Um, also good news to report, we have been able to upgrade Mimir's smithing skill from 1 to 24. So, we're, we've, we've almost fulfilled his quest obligations, I think. Just off of smithing alone. Um, I don't know if he's gained a single skill point in anything else other than smithing. But he's done a great job so far. In fact, I'm going to have you... Actually, should I keep some hardwood? I probably should. I think some of the hilts require it. Um, go ahead and just upgrade me. Give me some more wrought iron. That works. You're doing great, champ. Oh, there you go. See? 25 smithing. Keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> oh, we're, we're kind of abusing our fanboy, but that's fine. Um, 
Yeah, so several hours of me running around trying to figure it out, but, but, the reason I'm stopping right now is because, finally, we have war. I have something fun to do. Um, to be fair, to be fair, I think smithing is going to get a lot easier for us pretty soon here. If we go over to the smithing skill, starting at 50, um, increase the rate of learning new part designs when smelting by 100%. Oh my god, that is going to make such a big difference. And then there's another one, Curious Smith, doubles the chance of learning new crafting parts through smithing. These two perks alone will, I guess, since it's the doubling of both, I guess it's an exact 100% increase in our uh, new parts discovery. That is so big, because, I don't know if you guys realize this, um, you need to discover every single part in Tier 1 before you can unlock a single one for tier 2. And you're like, oh, that doesn't seem too bad. There's not that many parts. It gets worse. Look at tier 2. Look at tier 2. Why does there need to be 19 goddamn different grips just in tier 2 alone? Why is this a thing? Fucking 12 pommels. The sword blades, I understand. But why does there need to be so many grips? There's only three in tier one. 19 here. G good God, how many is this? How many rows is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? 29 in total? <laughs> this is going to be such a long grind. I thought I could knock this out in a couple episodes. A couple episodes. There's no way. Absolutely no way. This is just going to take a long fucking time. Um, a lot of, a lot of off-camera grinding, and we're just gonna have to do it as the episodes go on. My goal, by the end of this episode, if I can get up to 50, uh, smithing skill, I'll be happy with that. Um, speaking of, tell you what, I don't know, why don't I just have all of my people, why don't I use all of them to just reforge, like, even just this crude iron? Might as well, right? Yeah. Oh, shit, I'm out of charcoal. That's not good. Um, I don't think I haven't taught anybody the uh, the hardwood, like efficient hardwood perk yet. That's not good. I need to buy some more hardwood. Oh well, whatever, whatever, whatever. We're done with that. Um, how close is our guy? Lord needs. Oh, it's done. Oh, well, that's not too bad at all. Um, do I need to talk to Ragavan now then? Also, ooh, look at this. Look at this little caravan over here. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, you didn't realize war was about to break out. Oh, it's Mimir. My lord, the greed training time with you is over. I thank you for everything. It's been very productive for me. Okay, I'm glad he thinks that it was pr productive for him. <laughs> 24 out of those 30 points was from smithing. Uh, I'm happy to hear, th hear this. Tell me, what is the most important lesson you've learned from me? Turning hardwood into charcoal sucks. Uh, since we last spoke, I've been training vigorously. I feel much tougher. Uh, much more energetic and alive now. Really interesting. Alright, I'm glad you see it that way. Uh, not many other people would. Very well, then off you go. Send my regards to your family. I hope to see you again one day. I'm sure you will make an excellent commander. Who is his... Is he Ragavan's, like, cousin? It's his son! Oh, shit. That's Ragavan's son. Alright, if at some point we're going to be rebelling rebelling against Ragavan, um, it's probably a good thing we didn't train him up to be super, super good. How old is he again? He's 19, so yeah, he's going to be out there leading... Leading an army now. He should, should at least. Oh, lord! 25 skill points and charm! Oh my god, that's amazing. Two pieces of jewelry, and I assume a lot of relationship with his... Yeah, 79 relationship with... That's his whole clan. That's with Ragavan as well, I believe. Yeah, Ragavan fucking loves us. Um, maybe that's why he's been giving us so many castles. Uh, I certainly hope to, my lord. Again, I want to thank you for everything. Before I go, please accept this gift as a humble gratitude. I assume that was the... Uh, the jewelry he just gave us? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, 500, uh, 500 worth of jewelry. It actually sells for a ton in Varchek. 658. Might have to pop on over there. 
I'm pretty sure, is this, I think jewelry, this is what silversmiths make. Um, oh yeah, also, no progress on the workshop front. I'm serious, the last, like, three hours that I was recording were a goddamn disaster. Like, I just ended up deleting all the clips because it was just a mess of me being frustrated and not knowing, <laughs> like, how to do this efficiently. Until the end, I, I sort of figured it out at the end. Um, alright, uh, hand over your goods, or die. Oh, fuck. I don't think they'd... They'd actually want to fight. Um... Caravans are worth a good amount of money. Fuck it. No, let's run it. Let's run it. 49 versus 40? Eey. Holy shit, that's a lot of... 12 cavalry and 9 horse archers. They're half cavalry. That's a bit more than the, um... What was the other caravan we fought before? Was it Batanian or Vlandian? I'm not too sure. Alright, we will definitely leave our Drusinics on horse for this one, just to be able to combat their cavalry. Other that's Otherwise, it's just a recipe for disaster, I think. Um, and we do actually have archers now. Uh, that's the other thing. I've been working on increasing our relation with all the notables in our... Okay, we'll put Laliza at the head of that. And Udris at the head of that. Very good. Aphanus is the odd man out, as pretty much always. Uh, archers over here. Everyone else follow me. Holy fuck. There's a lot of them. Tell it, everyone else just charge in. I, I don't know what to fucking tell you, man. I'll just go in. This is... For how big of an army this is... Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Get him out of here. Yep. Yep. Take him out. Bring him out. Bring him out. Oh, he chamber blocked me on horseback. Okay. All right, buddy. Didn't know you had it like that. Woo. But I got it pretty good, too. Man, dude. Avalanche just does absolute fucking work on these guys. But yeah, so anyways, like I was saying, I've been doing a lot of work training up. Well, not really training up. It's just doing quests and getting relations with all of our notables, especially in the villages that are attached to Drumor Castle. Um, because that's where we're going to be recruiting Fion champions. Ideally, at some point, we get a, a town that's attached to a Sturgeon uh, castle. That way we can get our relationships... Uh, up high with someone who's going to give us Variags to recruit. But for the time being, this works as well. Wow, we fucking slaughtered these guys. It doesn't look like we lost anybody according to the battlefield. Uh, or like the progress bar. But how do you block that coming up? Oh, down he goes. Is that it? GG, holy shit. No, yeah, no losses. That was a... Look, that was a real-ass enemy army that we just took out. Like, that's going to be tougher than a decent amount of enemy lords. Because a lot of these lords are running around with peasants. Or at least the Batanians were. Alright, good shit. Nice. Uh, we will definitely take the prisoners. Uh, and awesome, yes. We have our archers training up. These guys will be very important for when we start doing sieges. By ourselves. Um, tell you what, we're gonna hold off on recruiting him until we can get enough uh, conformity to get them both. Yeah. And then here's the money. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Okay, and we have a few new perks to select here. Of course, the charm one. Yeah. Oh my God! Look, the learning rate for charm just went all the way down. We're so far past like what we should have. Yeah, our learning limit is 40, and we're at 57. Uh, okay, what is this? Plus one renown and influence for each issue resolved. Uh, every time you defeat an enemy lord party, you gain plus one relationship with a random notable of your faction. That's interesting. Versus this one, increase influence gained from battle by 30%. Every time you defeat an enemy lord party, you gain plus one relationship with a random lord of your faction. I think that one's better. Obviously, Spenoff is going to be more of a warlord long term. So, stylistically, it makes sense. 
I think the in extra influence gain from battles is going to be huge. Because that's... You spend influence to maintain armies. And that's big late game. And I think having plus one relationship with a random lord of your faction... And if that's not just any lord. Plus one relationship, I'm guessing, with a clan. Since your relationship with a clan is your relationship with all the lords in that clan. I think this one's pretty good. I like that. Leadership. What is this one? Plus four morale at the beginning of the battle when you are attacking... Okay. Additional 8 morale at the beginning of the battle when you are defending. And increase the rate of recruiting tier 1 through 3. No, I think stout defender is way better. We definitely would prefer to recruit higher tier prisoners. And if we're attacking somebody, we're probably not going to have to worry about morale. It's when we're defending against a larger force. I think that one's a no-brainer. Um, still waiting on the athletics. I'm sure one of you guys are going to tell me in the comments that it doesn't actually work that way. But uh, until I get confirmation that we can't get 11 endurance, we're going to hold off on it. We're actually about to level up pretty uh, pretty soon here. But yeah, let me see if I can hop over to... Yeah, so it's these two villages. Uh, Tormelina and Drewmore. These are the ones that I've been doing a lot of quests for. I think... Do I have an active quest for Drewmore? I don't think so. Oh, so that must be a new one they have. And is this another fucking caravan? Bro, can I just... <laughs> Actually, they might be faster than me. I got 4.6, 6.2. Oh, I'm in the forest. Ah, even if I was out of forest, I don't think we'd catch them. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Alright, get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, so Drewmore. This is the one, so because it has the same name as our castle, this is the one that we can recruit... Batanian Highborns. Yes, these are the noble tier units. Uh, let's buy it. We'll pick up a, t a couple more. Get up to 50. And then... Oh, they've got two different ones. Train troops for Sinek. And then this guy needs help with brigands. I've been doing a bunch of these brigand quests. Um, Are you the good guy? Who are you? Sinak and Ryland. Those are the two guys that typically have them. Alright, so these... Ah, fuck. We need... What do you want? How, how many... What, what troops do you need? Okay, you kept your word. Not everyone is so dependable these days. Yeah, yeah, you know. I'm. Holy shit, look at this guy's face. He... He is strung out on something. Oh my god! <laughs> His eyes! Uh, okay, uh... I have some lads who help me out with local troublemakers, but they wouldn't last long against real warriors. Maybe you could take them out, show what actual war is about. I'm not expecting you to make them fit for nobles retinue, but I want to give the bandits around here some pause for thought. Okay, what are we looking at here? Um, assign one of my companions to train your men? What does that, what does that take? 39, oh, pretty, pretty high risk of failure. Let's not do that. Okay, one thing, if one or two die, that's the fortunes of war, but try not to get them all massacred. These men will take some risk for me, but let's not have their lives thrown away with no purpose. Alright, alright, fair enough. What is? What do I actually have to do with them? Trained troops, 14. I just have to level them up, I'm guessing? You know what, this will actually work pretty well with this other quest where I have to take out some brigands. I can drop off some of my good troops in our castle. Um... And then just train them up on some uh, some weak people. Uh, yes, we have a war going on right now, but I haven't noticed any armies popped out yet. So it's not like we're missing out on any sieges. Anyways. Alright, five bands of brigands. Holy shit. Uh, Alright. Alright, we'll do it. Okay, let me go do that, and I'll be right back. Also, I just realized, I think I... I have been struggling to figure out how I can get Liza, our brother's uh, wife to chill in his same uh, castle so they can start pumping out babies, but he's already in the castle. If I just have her become the governor, surely that means they're now both at the same place. Staying at Drummer Castle? Yeah, yeah, hold on, let me go back here now. Ah, I figured it out, okay. Uh, we don't actually want you to run the castle, you're not that great. Right? 
Yeah, you literally only have one perk in that it's... Oh, she's 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 virile as well. Oh, boy. All right, they better... Yeah, compared to Nozon, look at how many governor perks he has. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, watch, watch this change. Boom. Yeah, look at that. Prosperity, security, militia, everything's going up. You know what? We've got a pretty decent-sized garrison here now. The militia's still going up two per day, and it's already at 100. Garrison's at 100. Now, of course, a lot of that is the troops that I just dropped off, which we will take back in a sec. But overall, not bad. Um, yeah, all right. Let's keep on moving. Jesus, these guys. They don't even have shields. This doesn't look good. <laughs> Move out! All right, just the infantry. These are, luckily, we are just going up against straight-up looters. But, um... My guys have scythes. What are... Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Good news is we do have that Baptized by Blood uh, perk. So, potentially... Potentially, if I just kill a bunch of them, we should be okay. Alright, I'm here to give them some, some help. Charge in, get in there, lads. Good, good. I need some help over here, I'm noticing. Alright, one of them got knocked unconscious, but they're alright. You guys got them. No one died, right? Phil is just taking a little nap. He'll be... Oh, yeah, he looks... Phil looks fine. He'll be He'll be good. He'll be good. Okay, nine level ups. Awesome. Oh, shit. Okay, this actually won't be too bad at all. This won't be too bad at all. And then, do they get anything because I killed some? See, the real question is, it's 5 XP per kill I get. But is that multiplied by the total number of troops that they have? So if we have 14 of them, do, do they get 70 XP per kill now? I have no idea. I, I really don't know. Um. Okay, what is... Can we upgrade him again? We can't. Okay. Then does it not make sense for us to wait a little bit? We should wait until they all can level up, right? I think that makes sense. And by keeping keeping them unleveled up, they'll just um, they'll be more likely to uh, to get XP. Yeah, I, I think that makes sense. Um, I should also probably sell off our prisoners, the ones that we're not going to keep. All right, onwards. Let's keep looking for some uh, some more brigands. Wait, what the hell is this? So I'm selling off uh, the loot from that caravan because I realized I forgot to do that. I just realized we have this horse in our inventory that looks cracked as shit. I don't know. Do, I might have gotten this from a tournament. I've been winning a lot of tournaments. Um, holy good God. 68 speed compared to the 44 that we currently have. 72 maneuver instead of 62. And a few more HP. Bro, this... The horse sells for 1600 I don't know where this horse comes from. It seems cracked. Alright, we're going to try that out. That, it seems very... That's got to be a... How is that a war mount? That's not... Or a regular mount. That's not a war horse? You're kidding. Not at that speed, right? I guess it, it has a few less HP than the Batanian war mount. But like, dude, that is... That's insane. That seems very good. Uh, let's go ahead and keep selling off. I guess at this point, I don't really need to keep weapons, do I? None of these are two-handed swords, and that's the only way I get two-handed sword parts, is by smelting or crafting two-handed swords. So I can just sell all those off. Yeah, that works. Cool. little five grand right there, and a big horse upgrade that I, I already had. I just didn't realize. Um... <laughs> All right, and now we sell off. Caravan troops actually... Dude, caravan prisoners actually sell off for a ton. Oh my god, 22... Another 2,000? We're getting... We're making some good money. Is there... Ooh, okay, hold up. I was gonna say, is there any good dye works or, you know, workshops in here? But the loyalty is really low here. And I didn't realize this was a thing. But it happened over here in Varchag. Remember, Vlandia took this from us. 
apparently the loyalty, like the Sturgeons were not having it. They straight up revolted, overthrew the Vlandians, but they didn't join us. They jo Oh, there's, there is an army up and running. Hmm. More than one or just one? Just one. Uh, we might have to pop over there soon after we finish this quest. But yeah, they just made their own faction. It's it's its own faction entirely. Varcheg Rebels. That's crazy. I didn't know that was in this game. I, there was one or two Warband mods that had something similar to that. But this is the first time I've seen it in Bannerlord. And that's that's dope. I, I like that a lot. Um, how are we doing capacity-wise? I could buy some more hardwood. What is taking up so much capacity? We probably got a ton of food from that caravan. Oh yeah, fucking 88 grain. Jesus Christ. Stop. I need grain and Omar so we can actually produce some goddamn ale for once. Because that, that workshop has still not turned a profit. Has not turned a profit yet. Alright. Yeah, a bunch of this can get cut down. We don't need... We don't need 28 barrels of grapes. We definitely don't need 88 sacks of grain. Bring that down. Our stewardship is going through the roof, though. I will I will say that. Where is it at? Yeah, it's already up to 56. It's one of the easiest uh, skills to level up. Okay, back to the bandit grind. And then, uh, potentially once we're done with that, we'll go hop in with the army. Might as well throw another point into roguery, since we're going to be doing some more raiding soon. Not really sure what is actually going to be helpful to us, but, um, eh, might as well. Okay, I think with this battle, we should have all of them leveled up. Also, this new horse is insanely fast. Like, it gets up to speed pretty fast, and the top speed on this thing, I mean, we're, we're maxing out the odometer. No, no, wait, what? That's not the odometer, right? What is the odometer? Is the... Isn't the odometer like the total mileage? Fuck, I have no idea. This is a bad metaphor. Um, <laughs> Alright, awesome. None of them died. And four more level ups. I think that's all of them. That is indeed all of them. Perfect. Go ahead. Upgrade them all. Veteran borrowed troops. What are we going to get? Maybe I should have put that point into charm. Instead of roguery. Hmm. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, yep, go ahead and send the troops back. And, oh shit, 4,400. That's not bad. Plus six relation. All right. So here's the thing. I don't know if this is like Warband, where if you have like 90, 100 relation with a village that you're recruiting from, if there's a chance that you get super high tier troops i don't know if that's possible what are the benefits to me like really maxing out my relationship with these guys like i'm already at 17 which should be enough i can i can recruit all of his stuff is there a benefit to going higher than that that's the real question i don't know i don't know the answer to that uh new owner of uthelhelm castle uh i don't really care whoever wants it Ragavand, <laughs> it should go to me. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that'd be very. Uh, I don't really care. Whoever. Varshorky. All right, good for you, champ. Uh, casualties inflicted. I mean, yeah, they're still bigger than us, but. Hmm. All right. Good, good. I've got a few more bands to take on. Uthelhelm. Okay, yeah, so they retook that castle. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, this is a big army. Look at this. They've got a thousand. They're doing good work, and what I like about this war is it's pretty linear. There's just one front. It's right here. Like, there's a pretty clear path to uh, to rotate. Is this... Who's the leader of these guys? Is it... Uh, Garios, that's right. Okay, not... Not our, our wifey, uh, there she is, Regia. I thought, I thought they nerfed her. I thought they made her look, I thought they, I thought they made her look ugly at some point. Did they revert it? She looks pretty good. 
for 40 for 42 43 man between her and Sega, the 42 year olds uh in uh, in cal radio they're holding it down they're doing a goddamn good job um all right let's pick up a few more cavalry i'll keep on hunting down random groups of bandits and then we'll get into the war oh fuck the northern empire just declared war on us um and i'm pretty sure i saw our army got wiped oh man that is a lot of red <laughs> um all of a sudden uh it doesn't seem like such a bad thing that we have castles so far away that aren't sturgeon <laughs> it's not looking good over there it's not looking good you know what i totally forgot about we should be upgrading our arrows we've got so much money let's go ahead and buy uh these stacked bodkin arrows fuck yeah not only did they do plus three damage or well plus three pierce so more than just plus three damage um but they have a way way higher stack amount how many more is that would we have like 27 before i think yeah 27 now we've got 32 awesome beautiful for sieges all right finally that quest is done beautiful drew more loves us eh, somewhat eight relation with him that's not bad i think we holy shit i missed we had a we had got a bunch of new uh new perks okay uh what is this sagittarius oh my god it's reminding me of my tinder matches i get I get ptsd from this what's your sign <laughs> Uh, decrease accuracy penalty by 15% while mounted. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Decrease accuracy penalty by 15% for mounted range troops in your formation. Probably not going to really have, like, many horse archers. Uh, versus sweeping wind. Increase your mount's top speed by 5%. Increase your party speed by 2%. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Dude, our horse was already fast as shit. Now it's going to be 5% faster, the top speed. My god. Alright, two-handed. What do we have here? Berserker. Increase your damage with two-handed weapons by 20% when you have less than half hit points. Alright. I don't I don't mind that. Um, governor perk. Doesn't really matter for us. Confidence. Increase your damage with two-handed weapons by 15% when your HP is above 90%. Hmm. I think we're more likely to be below half HP than above 90 HP. I mean, just like little hits will do that to you. I And you know what? I think the Berserker makes more sense for Svenoff. Yeah, let's go Berserker. And then, ooh, Polearm, okay. Polearm attacks that can dismount, ignore 15% of dismount resistance versus, okay, infantry troops. In the formation you are leading have their damage increased 10% against cavalry. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. I mean, we're never going to use a pole arm like on the field of battle, but that's a good perk for our, our troops. Awesome. Okay. Uh, you know what? We should probably go check out and see how the front is going. I like how originally they're like sending us like, uh, you know, ravens and like, Svenoff, our, our giant army of a thousand just got wiped out. And Svenoff's like, wow, that's crazy, man. Someone should do something about that. You know, not me though, not me, but like somebody should. <laughs> but, uh, no, I feel like we're obligated. We need to, need to go over there and help. Tell you what I might do. I think I'm going to drop off, um, I think I'm going to drop off a good amount of our, our cavalry. Take out some infantry and then recruit a bunch of infantry in the Sturgeon castles or towns over there and uh, start training up uh, an infantry army. We've got so tons of money. Yeah, I don't. We'll keep the nine Druzinics. I want my champions along with Chad to hang tight. Bring out the line breaker, heavy spearmen. I even like some of these dudes Sea Raider Chief, all them. The Fion champion will leave in here. Our, our like maxed out units will leave in here because it looks like we're getting absolutely smoked on that front. Holy shit, look at this. 22 highborn youths. Woo! Tell you what, give me 10 of those. So how many archers do I have now? Like 20 and some change? A little over 20? That's a good amount. Now we just need... Frankly, we just need some uh, Sturgeon 
recruits to train up at this point. Start chaining woodsmen. You're going down that path. Eh. We'll take you, though. Sturgeon Brigand. Oh, interesting. We'll take you. Three of you, nice. The line Breakers, can level them up. Alright, that looks good for the time being. We got 46 troops. Honestly, we've got a decent amount. Uh, we do need some more infantry, though. We're a little, little archer heavy right now, which is not the worst thing. Not the worst thing by any means. And we didn't even lose that much speed. Look at that. We're still at 5.9. Um, if I get rid of some prisoners. Oh, shit. I should put these in one of our castles. These are looters, aren't they? Ah, it's only one looter. Fuck it. Uh, these guys on oh, the bushwhackers. Ah, whatever. Let's just sell them off. We'll recruit those fions in a little bit. Yeah, we're going to be very archer heavy. Um, we need some infantry to balance this out. Holy shit, we're already trying to peace out of the war with the Western Empire? 2200 tribute daily. Hmm. It's actually not the worst idea. We're up a castle right now on them. Someone's besieging Hippocrates. I don't think that's one of us, though. We don't have any armies on the field. Yeah, I think that's the move, probably. Which, we don't even need to help with that. We abstain. Yeah, let's get out of here. We're gonna have to pay them some money. We'll see how much that is in a second. Um, but that makes this a one-front war. I think that's the far smarter move. Yes, and so we, we end up getting to keep that castle. That, that's definitely the right move. How much is this costing us? I think we'll have to wait until the next uh, paychecks go through. Find out how much they're going to be docking us. Oh, there we go. That didn't take long. Um, I'm not seeing it yet. They uh, <laughs> haven't managed to send the bill over to us quite yet. Uh, you good, Urgeon? Er He's just en enjoying the view. This is actually, oh my god, this is super pretty. Like, look at that in the back. Oh, this, you know what, Urgeon? Good call, man. This is a nice, nice spot to just hang out and chill. All right. Let's go see what these sieges are looking like. If there's anything we can do at all, my guess would be probably not. Uh, and if that is the case, then we will... Hold up. Is that a... Is that a lord? The rebels have lords? I'm sorry. What? How do I even look them up? Varchek rebels. Valor Vaton. So that, that's the guy we just saw. So there's only four of them. It's just... It's one clan. And they're at war with Vlandia. Man, I love that they... Ooh, yeah. 600, that's a bit much. I don't think our 46 guys is gonna change that. Um, before you guys take that, let me go... Shit, they're gonna take out Cranorock. That was... Uh, that was where we were getting a lot of our... Our Variag units from. Alright, one last time. Let's get some Variags. <gasps> hey! <laughs> yes! Ah! What a wingman. Our brother just knocked up uh, his wife. Beautiful. Love to see it. Uh, recruit troops. Give me these. Oh, oh Trox. Uh, I mean, it makes sense. They're in the middle of a war. Probably a lot of lords have come by wanting to uh, pick those up. However, Mazadan is also connected to... Oh my god, they've got two fairly decent sized armies. Who is besieging Apocritia? It can't... Are they... They might be at war with someone else, actually. Um... Ba -ba -ba. Oh my god, the Northern Empire is at war with... Oh no, sorry. Just us and Batania. Uh, these are just minor factions. Okay. So Batania is probably sieging that down. Hmm. Ooh, hello. There we go. Those are the units I needed, and honestly, we'll even pick up a couple of the really shitty ones. There we go, we're up to 58 troops. 58 battle-ready boys. 
Not bad. Not ready for that battle, but for other battles. Smaller ones, presumably. Let's see if I can find some uh, brigands to train these guys up on real quick. And then... Uh, can I actually assist in a siege that isn't being led by us? Is that a thing? I feel like it should be. Yeah, there's just no way I can stop that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell him, man. Ooh, ooh, hello. Hello. Oh, come over here, buddy. You're not gonna run? Now you'll run. Are you fucking kidding me? The, the Qzates just declared war on us again? Alright, hold up. What, a, what do you have? A bunch of Batanians. This is... Is this not an, originally an Empire guy? And then we might be able to help him out with uh, Nikaser. Alright, that's close enough now. Who are you? Oh, buddy. I'm Svenoff. And, uh... You're about to die. Let's fuck him up. Oh, wait. I don't have my elite cavalry. I, I've got some. I've got some. Okay, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. I need to actually use tactics in this. We have a shit ton of archers. We have a shit ton of very good archers. We need to use them to our advantage. We haven't done that yet this campaign. Okay. All right. This looks fine to me. Beautiful. Okay. Everybody, let's move up a little bit. Let's take the top of one of these hills. Soldiers! Archers right here. Infantry right here. Cavalry just come sit on the sides. Oh, is he taking this hill? No, 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 no. Soldiers! Archers up here then. Soldiers! Get moving! Are they running away? Wait, what the fuck is this? They appear to just be tr retreating. Come on, everybody. Oh, damn it. I fucking whiffed. His horse is so much smaller than mine. That's the reason why. Alright, we got archers for days, man. Go to, go to fucking town on these dudes. What are their infantry doing? Th they just left what little archers they had exposed. Now they're about to get absolutely smacked. <laughs> this is a joke. What, what are you guys doing here? Oh, wait. Do these guys... These guys have two-handed swords? Is this where I needed to go in order to loot two-handed swords to smelt down? Do I need to just kill, like, higher-tier Batanians? That might actually be the case. Okay. Down they go. Hello, buddy. Oh, can you imagine if we just did it to him like that? Okay, horse hurt. <laughs> oh, he got smoked. Okay, what are these? I don't understand what these infantry are doing. My infantry, come over here. I will... Well, you guys aren't going to cross the water, right? So let me just... I'll just put you like this. Put my archers right here, and they're just gonna take shots on you. Okay, yeah, none of you guys are gonna hit that throwing, that throwing shot. Don't stop, stop. You're just embarrassing yourself by trying. One of these is actually gonna hit. <laughs> I'm daring them. I'm daring them. Ooh, little headshot. This is, you know what? I thought, like, the Empire was supposed to be known for, like, great battle tactics. This seems to be a little subpar, if I'm being honest. Oh, there goes the Lord. Are they... Do they take a big morale hit when that happens? <laughs> the Lord goes down and they're like, Alright, hey, let's stop listening to him. Clearly what he was saying was not working. We're getting smoked. And they are. They absolutely are. There's the Triari down... Trying to focus on the more armored ones, if I can. Well, the good news is, our our new archers are getting a lot of XP from this. A ridiculous amount of XP. Soldiers, cut them down. Go ahead and send the cavalry in. By the time they get there, there won't be much left. We should probably train up these guys, right? Alright, yeah, hey, get in there, champs. 
These are- Oh my god, the double kill. Oh! <laughs> yes, sir! Oh, where are you running? Jesus. Was that flawless? Did we just flawless that lord? <laughs> oh my god, get absolutely fucking wrecked. Dude, look at all of our guys that leveled up. Oh, that's beautiful. Empire Schmempire, man. You know what? I I thought maybe the Batanians were just weak. Maybe Svenolf is just strong. How did I not think of that possibility? Um, Arenikos, huh? Do I want to let you go? You're a mercenary. What? Oh, you're part of the Legion of the Betrayed? Thing is, I don't even think we're going to get a lot of charm for letting him go since it's, the charm's capped out right now. I think you, you're going to be my prisoner, buddy. Uh, Alright, another Batanian Highborn Youth. Oh no, these are just prisoners. Yeah, we'll take all that. Yeah, look at this. Our one Fion that we had already made it up to Fion Champion. Beautiful. Sturgeon Warrior leveling up. Our Otrox, Variags, beautiful. All 11 of our Highborn Youths made it. Awesome. Bunch more heroes and some more Fions. Sick. We're gonna absolutely wreck face with these guys. Oh, and then here's a bunch bunch of more Fions. Oh my god. <laughs> oh this is brutal. We're gonna wreck these guys. Ooh, hello. Some upgraded armor for us? Eleven foot armor? Hello, finally. My god. It's been a sec since we've managed to find anything that's like an actual upgrade for us. Nothing else though, doesn't look like. Alright, we'll loot the rest. Good stuff. Relation increased by two with somebody. Oh, that's our one perk that we got. Uh, one of the new perks. Was it leadership? No. Charm. This one. Warlord. Damn right. Ah. Okay. This guy here. How good is he? He's got 120. 13 elite cataphracts. 2 elite manavlitons. Uh. Uh. Torvir, tell me you have some good units. Okay, you got some Otrox in there. Some Variag. Variag veterans. Okay, you're pretty decent. Tell you what. It's been a while. We're going to end this episode off here. Um. I kind of forgot that I already had 25 minutes of footage before I started recording today. Um, I should have probably... This is going to be a long one. We will start off next episode with uh, this battle here. Uh, hopefully trying to salvage what we can and not lose too much to the Northern Empire. And then if we can, now that Svenolf's got a little bit of charm skill, might have to see if we can't get him a wife. But until then, as always, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about this series and all the rest of the series that we have going on right now. And until next time, as always, take it easy.